Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put entire Minecraft worlds into Blender for maybe Minecraft animations or maybe you just want to do your world with some fancy settings and lighting. I'm not sure, but um, this is using a program. It's a well-known program called Mineways. I'm just going to show you one of the most efficient ways to put it straight into Blender. So yeah, let's get started. And I also want to say I am very sorry for not uploading again. It's firmly established now that we up when we say we're going to upload and when we upload it's two very different things and I've still not finished that tutorial. I'm sorry. Just don't expect it and it will come eventually. Anyway, yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so this is the official Mindways website. You can see here what it can do. You, you, you build this in Minecraft, you export it, you render it, you can 3D print it, you can do all sorts of it. It's available for all, diff, all the different 3D programs. I know this website looks a little sketchy, but the software is good and this is the official thing. So, I just download it here and then we shall continue. Okay, so once you've extracted the zip, just open it and you'll come across all these. These are all texture for all blocks in Minecraft. And just open the application, run it anyway, and here we go. This is Mineways. I haven't particularly got any Minecraft worlds ready for this, so I'm just going to open a random world. You just go to Files, Open World, and it will automatically find all your Minecraft world. Okay, here we go. Here's a Minecraft world. It's, it's, it's just your typical Minecraft world. So to use this program, you simply just drag and right click, select an area, and you select your height and depth. I'm going to keep it as the default just because I'm making an example of this. If you want it to include all your caves and stuff, you would set the depth down to zero. So I'm just going to click yes. Now I go back to file and just export for rendering. That's all you need to do. As easy as that. I'm just going to save it somewhere. Call it... Um, I don't forget what it is. And it comes up with all these things. I'm not going to click any of them. I'm just going to press OK. Don't know what most of them do. Okay. I think one of my later videos is going to be how to do some custom logo designs. Because you can see here, I've done a couple of them already. And I think it could be quite good. Yeah, that's exported. So yeah, now we can move on to the next part. So when you're in Blender, exterminate the default queue. And then go up here to File, Import and import a wavefront obj this one here find wherever you saved it to i think this is it here so then this happens i don't know why this happens ignore it it's just a cube i actually selected quite a large portion of the world so this may actually crash my computer okay and here we go this is minecraft in blender so now we will just go to render view bear with me okay i think it might have worked yeah Okay, let me just add an HDRI so we can see it better. This is very laggy, I'm sorry. Good, so here's our Minecraft world. Okay, so I'm recording this after I made the majority of the video because I forgot about this bit. But you'll see here, on these textures here, it's not like Minecraft at all. It's all very blurry and indistinct. And sometimes um, the transparency on some of the materials doesn't even show. Right, so I've found a way to fix this. So what you need to do is you need to go up here to this drop down and to this object and go to each individual material could take this could take a while so this first one is stone so it's all blurry Sorry. Wait a minute. that's the default cube so here's the stuff here's so stone you see it's all blurry so you go to the shader editor with stone the stone material open and you see up here there's an image texture and the top drop down here change it from lin linear let me get some stone up linear to closest and that basically makes it all the pixie colours, so you just go through literally every single every single material, change it from linear to closest, linear to closest, I'll cut this bit out now. Okay, I've done this bit on purpose, I've reset this because sometimes it doesn't work, so I've done, I've edited it on purpose, because this is sometimes what you come up with. You'll see the transparency on this grass isn't working, so first of all, all we have to do is change it from linear to closest to make it pixely like minecraft and then also drag this here down right here drag this into the alpha here and then we do color ramp and you just basically turn this from linear to constant 
then turn this down here and that should sort this problem out okay so then just do that for every material just put it into the alpha and with this color ramp here you just got to do this for every material i'm not going to do every single one because i simply haven't got the time in my life right now i'm just making the tutorial but yeah now thinking about this this could also be the first in a tutorial series how to do those Minecraft animations. There'll be something showing off on screen now. How to do these Minecraft animations that you see on the internet. Maybe that could be a tutorial series if someone requests it. Comment if you want that. Anyway, I'll see everyone later. Bye.